In this guide we'll be covering the different variations and how to blaze through them with ease, as well as the shortcuts and skips that pros use to qualify fast. Spawn. Like all race maps, being in the front is the best place to be. God spawn for this map is in the front row and towards the center. Spawn only matters if you're trying to speed run the map, so if you're just trying to qualify, getting a bad spawn isn't the end of the world. Bumper skip. This skip allows you to skip the first pusher block and potentially the second pusher block as well. In order to perform the skip, you lunge yourself towards the bumper, then jump the instant you land on the bumper. However, the timing is tricky to do so, so here's a much easier way of doing it. Jump towards the bumper, you then mash your jump button until you perform the skip. If you get the variant with its flippers on the floor, this skip becomes much easier to do. Fence skip. This is a simple skip you can do. You jump onto the tiny ledge, move to the left side, and then try to jump around the head of the fence by holding left and quickly moving your joystick forwards. If you touch the head of the fence, that's fine. Just try to graze it and not get on top of it fully. Since everyone does this skip, it can be incredibly tricky to do so, but it's definitely something I recommend you get in the habit of doing, especially if you're in the lead. Moving block skip. This skip is where you can start shaving some of your runtime. You will need some momentum however to perform the skip properly, so run to the first block, you then can jump dive on top of it. However, another way that you can perform this skip is that you can just run to the corner and jump on it. Another possible way you can get is the two buzzer fans in place of the two pusher blocks. You can use the fans to help you get on top of the treadmill directly. You get on the first block, walk a little bit towards the fan, wait and then let the fan come to you and then jump and you should get blown upwards. Do make sure to dive so you soften your landing. The treadmill section. I recommend you get on the treadmill by jumping from this corner right here. And while on the treadmill, you sprint jump or run or jumping because it's a bit faster than just running on the treadmill normally. You then make your way to this corner and jump up onto the platform. You may get a variant with this low gravity on the yellow beams. Here's what you can do instead. Go into the low grav, you can use the shadow as a reference of where to be. Jump onto the yellow beam and then jump onto the other side. Wall skip. As of season 1 free fall, wall skip is still possible to do. You run on the left beam, jump towards the wall, wait and then jump dive. The most important thing to do is to not jump dive up the instant your character lands on the wall, but rather wait like 5 to 2 milliseconds and then jump dive. This will take some time and practice to get down, but I definitely recommend you practice the skip. However, if you don't or can't do wall skip, you can instead jump over this corner and get onto the platform that way. Hammer skip. In order to perform hammer skip, you run to the hammer, lunge to towards the beam portion of the hammer, stop for a brief second and jump while holding forwards. The thing you'll find difficult to do at first is when to jump towards the hammer. If you see hammer positioned here, that's the hammer you want to take. But also if you see hammers positioned near the platform, you can take the hammers as well. People have said that you've played Fall Guys with an FPS above 60, hammer skip is basically impossible to do. I'm not sure the reasoning or the science behind it, but that's just something PC players have commented on. If you don't or can't do hammer skip, you can jump dive directly onto the platform, escaping the first push of block. Yetus. This appears difficult, but once you understand where to stand and when to jump, you'll master this in no time. Let me explain this to you in two easy steps. Step 1. Run to the edge of this stripe right here. You can use this circle as a reference of where to stand. Step 2. Keep your eye on the Yetus and when you see a cross at 3 o'clock position, that's when you jump. I'm now going to play some clips of me getting yeeted so you can observe how I'm doing it. The most important thing is where you stand. By standing on the edge of the green stripe, you're in the best possible position to get yeeted. When I learned that, I swear I was getting yeeted successfully every time. While I know you made it this far and the yeetus is terrifying, but once you know where to stand and when to jump, you'll be finishing the race with style. If you learn something new, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. It helps the channel grow. Low gravity disc section. Instead of getting on the disc and doing all that, run to the corner and then go into the low gravity section, then jump and make your way to the other side. Big shout out to fellow Fall Guys YouTuber Stentrick for showing me this strat. Thick bonkers section. If you get the thick bonkers towards the end, if you run on the blue stripe towards the right side, the bonkers doesn't reach all the way there. Seriously, you could just stand there and won't even graze you. This still works as a season 1 free for all. Hammer section. You can even do the same thing for the hammers. Just run along the blue stripes to the right, although with this section, make sure you're on the right side and on the left, because one of the left side hammers can hit you off the map. Ball art section. Would you believe me if I said you could run the blue stripe and the donuts won't hit you off? Although do be careful because if you slip off the blue stripe, the ball art will hit you off the map. Pendulum section. For this one, I will say to take it slow and when you see an opening, that's when you proceed forwards. Expanding balloon section. I will say and highly recommend that you try and jump dive over the corner to skip the first balloon to your left. You then make your way to the other balloons normally. Blizzard fan section. Wait for the fan to be away from the finish line and then run towards it. Do this while holding your movement stick to the forwards and to the left position. The key is to wait for the fan to come to you. Cannonball section. If you see a cannonball heading towards you, wait for it to be out of your way, then proceed to the sides of the pathway. The button that activates 
notice the cannon has a short cooldown. So just wait for the ball to be shot and then make your way. Here's one of my slime climb runs that you can hyper analyze. Also, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers.